In order to tackle the problem, I'm going to start off by listing the first few terms of the summation. By listing out the terms and looking at the uh, coefficient coefficients as well as the uh, powers, we can uh, recognize that uh, taking the integral would simplify a whole lot of things. All I've done here is uh, take the integral of each uh, term uh, in the summation. Next, by looking at this series as a whole, uh, it looks very familiar, if not um, the same, as the Taylor polynomial of uh, x over 1 minus x. Now, by reversing our uh, steps, we can realize that uh, this summation is equal to the derivative of this uh, function right here. This makes sense because we took the integral of uh, this to find uh, uh, this uh, series right here. So now we reverse it and find the derivative of this uh, and set it equal to just the sum summation right here. If we do out the quotient rule, we get uh, this right here and we can further simplify that. Finally, we can set that equal to our original summation. We do get the answer, but we have to make sure that this is all between the absolute value of x is less than 1 because uh, this right here has a domain restriction.